Good morning friends. Welcome to exam number 365. Hope you all are good and safe. In this video, we will do a weekly roundup. We will discuss the most important current affairs from 3rd July to 9th July 2022. It will be a revision class for all of you. Please watch the video till the end. Let's begin. Who has elected as the new Maharashtra Assembly Speaker? The answer is Rahul Narvekar. Rahul Narvekar was elected as the Maharashtra Assembly Speaker. Mr. Narvekar was elected to the Assembly from Mumbai's Kolaba constituency. Devendra Patnais has been sworn in as the Deputy Chief Minister of Maharashtra. Where is the capital of Maharashtra? Mumbai. Who is the Chief Minister of Maharashtra? Eknath Sambhaji Shinde. Who is the Governor of Maharashtra? Bhagat Singh Koshyari. Who has won the British Grand Prix 2022? The answer is Carlos Sainz. Spanish racing driver Carlos Sainz won the British Grand Prix title 2022. Ferrari's Carlos Sainz took his first Formula 1 victory at the end of an extraordinary British Grand Prix. Guy Chetney, that made of beaver ants, is trying to get GA tag from which state? The answer is Odisha. Beaver ants are popular in Odisha's Mayurbanj district among the people, mostly tribals, for the mouth-watering food item that is made out of it, the Kai Chetney. For Odisha tribals, the dish is known to boost the immune system and keep diseases at bay. In Odisha, scientists are now fine-tuning their research to make a presentation for the geographical indications GA registry of Kai Chutney. GA labels enhance the reputation and the value of local products and support local businesses. Where is the capital of Odisha? Bhubaneswar. Who is the Chief Minister of Odisha? Navin Patnaik. Who is the Governor of Odisha? Ganeshi Lal. Who has appointed as the President of Financial Action Task Force FATF? The answer is T. Rajakumar. Indian origin Singaporean T. Rajakumar has been appointed as the President of Financial Action Task Force. Kumar has replaced Marcus Player. What is FATF and when it's formed? FATF was formed by the 1989 G7 summit in Paris to combat the growing problem of money laundering. The Financial Action Tax Force FATF is a global money laundering and terrorist financing watchdog. The intergovernmental body sets international standards that aim to prevent these illegal activities and the harm they cause to society. Where is the headquarters of FATF? Paris, France. Let's check next question. Which state government is going to issue family cards to deal with unemployment? The answer is Uttar Pradesh. In a major step towards eradicating unemployment in Uttar Pradesh, the state government is going to issue cards to each and every family. These cards will be known as family cards and with the help of these cards, the government will identify the families who do not have any government job or any kind of employment. The government will try to provide job, employment or self-employment to at least one member of such families. Where is the capital of Uttar Pradesh? Lucknow. Who is the Chief Minister of Uttar Pradesh? Yogi Adityanath. Who is the Governor of Uttar Pradesh? Anadiman Patel. Prime Minister has unveiled Freedom Fighter Alluri Sitaramarachu's statue in which state? The answer is Andhra Pradesh. Prime Minister unveiled a 30 feet tall bronze statue of Alluri Sitaramaraju in Andhra Pradesh Bhimavaram on the 125th birth anniversary celebrations of Freedom Fighter Alluri Sitaramaraju. Born on July 4, 1897, Alluri Sitaramaraju is remembered for his fight against the British in order to safeguard the interests of the tribal communities in the Eastern Ghats region. He had led the Rampa Rebellion, which was launched in 1922. 
he is referred to as hero of the jungles by the local people where is the capital of andhra pradesh amravati who is the chief minister of andhra pradesh ys jagam mohan reddy who is the governor of andhra pradesh pishabhushan harichandan we will check the next question public health emergency has declared in which town in puducherry the answer is karekel the directorate of health and family welfare services of puducherry declared a public health emergency in karekel region following an outbreak of acute diarrheal cases over the last few days reportedly around 700 people were admitted in the hospitals in karekel so far as per the authorities the contamination of drinking water was allegedly the reason for the spread of disease where's the capital of puducherry pondicherry which is the chief minister of puducherry n dagaswami who is the governor of puducherry tamil say soundary rajan who has won femina miss india world 2022 the answer is sinishetty sinishetty from karnataka won the femina miss india world 2022 title rajasthan rupal shekhawat emerged as femina miss india 2022 first runner up and shinata chauhan from uttar pradesh was named second runner up india and which country has launched the physical copy of joint commemorative stamp recently the answer is uae emirates post group in collaboration with india post has launched commemorative stamps in joint celebration of year of the 50th anniversary of the diplomatic relations between india and uae and the 75th anniversary of the independence of india the issue even highlights the strong and historic relations between india and uae Where is the capital of UAE? Abu Dhabi. Who is the president of UAE? Mohammed bin Zayed Al Nahyan. Who is the vice president and prime minister of UAE? Mohammed bin Rashid Al Maktoum. What is the currency of UAE? United Arab Emirates dirham. The death anniversary of Swami Vivekananda observed on 4th July. Swami Vivekananda, one of the greatest spiritual figures ever, died on 4th July 1902 at the age of 39. Born as Narendra Datta in Kolkata on 12th January 1863, he chose the path of spirituality by becoming a follower of Ramakrishna Paramhansa. Swami Vivekananda is credited for taking the concepts of yoga and Vedanta to the western world. Nariko Namanski has launched in which state the answer is Himachal Pradesh the government of Himachal Pradesh launched the Nariko Naman scheme under the scheme the Himachal Road Transport Corporation will charge women travelers only half the fare for their travel within the state where is the capital of Himachal Pradesh its summer capital is Shimla and winter capital is Dharamshala who is the chief minister of Himachal Pradesh J Ram Thakur who is the governor of Himachal Pradesh Rajendra Arelkar Which state has stopped in the state ranking for implementation of National Food Security Act The answer is Odisha Odisha has stopped in the state ranking for implementation of the National Food Security Act through ration shops followed by Uttar Pradesh and Andhra Pradesh Union Food and Consumer Affairs Minister Piyush Goel released a state ranking index for NFSA 2022 during a conference of state food ministers on food and nutrition security in India. National Food Security Act legally entails up to 75% of the rural population and 50% of urban population to receive subsidized food grains under the targeted public distribution system. about two thirds of the population therefore is covered under the act to receive highly subsidized food grains let's talk about odisha where is the capital of odisha bhubaneswar 
who is the chief minister of Odisha, Navin Patnaik, who is the governor of Odisha, Ganeshi Lal, who has become the second woman to win Fields Medal. The answer is Mariana Vyasovka. Ukraine mathematician Mariana Vyasovka was named as one of the four recipients of the prestigious Field Medal, which is often described as the Nobel Prize in Mathematics. Vyasovka, who holds the chair in number theory at the Swiss Federal Institute of Technology, Lausanne, was being honored for her work on the denest packing of identical spheres in eight dimensions. Let's talk about Fields Medal. The Fields Medal, often described as the Nobel Prize in Mathematics, is awarded every four years to mathematicians under the age of 40. Let's check next question. Who has become the sixth Indian to take 100 wickets in Sena countries? The answer is Jasprit Bamra. Jasprit Bamra became the sixth Indian bowler and fifth pacer to take 100 wickets in Sena countries, joining the League of Legends like Kabil Dev, Sahir Khan, and Anil Kumble. He holds the record of 101 wickets in Sena countries. He is the sixth Indian bowler to reach the landmark figure. What do you mean by Sena countries? The Sena countries include South Africa, England, New Zealand, and Australia. Who has begun the brand ambassador of Garmin India for its fitness segment? The answer is Kaustub Radkar. Garmin India has announced to have an Indian triathlete Kaustub Radkar as a brand ambassador of Garmin's fitness segment. He is an Ironman certified coach and is the first and only Indian to complete the Ironman triathlon on 30 occasions. Kaustub Radkar has also been chosen as one of the Fit India Ambassadors as part of Prime Minister Narendra Modi's Fit India Movement, which was started in 2019. Which country has celebrated its Independence Day on 4th July? The answer is USA. The United States celebrated its 246th Independence Day on 4th July 2022. Also called US Independence Day of 4th July, it marks the day when America declared its independence from Great Britain. Where is the capital of US? Washington DC. Who is the President of USA? Joe Biden. What is the currency of USA? United States Dollar. India has extended the deadline for duty-free cotton imports till which month? The answer is 31st October. India has extended the deadline to import cotton without paying import taxes till October 31st, 2022. The earlier cut-off date was 30th September. The deadline has been extended as the sowing of the fiber crop was delayed in some regions due to patchy monsoon rainfall. Who is the Minister of Consumer Affairs, Food and Public Distribution, and Minister of Textiles, and Minister of Commerce and Industry, Piyush Goel? Who was resigned as Union Minister of Minority Affairs? The answer is Mukhtar Abbas Nakvi. Mukhtar Abbas Nakvi resigned from the post of Minority Affairs Minister. Union Minister Ram Chandra Prasad Singh also submitted his resignation to Prime Minister Narendra Modi. Who has become the first Arab woman to reach a Grand Slam semi-final? The answer is Ons Jaber. Tunisian Ons Jaber became the first Arab woman to reach the semi-finals at a Grand Slam tournament. She achieved this feat by beating Mari Buskova of Czech Republic in a women's single quarter-final match. She has been ranked as high as world number two by the Women's Tennis Association. World Suenasis Day observed on 6 July. World Suenasis Day is observed annually on 6 July to commemorate the first immunization against a zoonotic illness. What do you mean by zoonotic illness? Diseases that transmit from animals to human beings are called zoonotic diseases. A recent report from the State of the World's Forest 2022 predicts India as a potential hotspot for zoonotic viral diseases. 
about 70% of all emerging diseases such as rabies, swine flu, nipa, sika that affect humans are zoonotic in nature. Let's revise some of the important dates in July. July 1st observed as Chartered Accountants Day. It also observed as National Doctors Day. Theme is Family Doctors in the Front Line. July 2nd observed as World UFO Day. Mohammed Sanusi Barkindo passed away. He was the Secretary General of which international organization? The answer is OPEC. The Secretary General of the Organization of Petroleum Exporting Countries has died. Barkindo, who was 63 years old, was due to step down at the end of this month after six years as OPEC Secretary General. Let's talk about OPEC. The Organization of the Petroleum Exporting Countries, OPEC, is an intergovernmental organization of 13 countries. OPEC is a multinational organization that was established to coordinate the petroleum policies of its members and to provide member states with the technical and economic aid. Where is the headquarters of OPEC? Vienna, Austria. India's biggest shopping festival 2023 will be held in which state or union territory? The answer is Delhi. Delhi Chief Minister Arvind Kejriwal announced that the biggest shopping festival in India that will be held in the national capital from January 28 to February 26, 2023. The biggest shopping festival will boost the country's economy and help the local businessmen. Who is the lieutenant governor of Delhi? Vinay Kumar Saxena. What is India's current position in the World Test Championship Points Table 2022? The answer is 4th. India slipped to 4th on the World Test Championship Points Table after being docked 2 points by the ICC for slow over rate in the rescheduled 5th test at Edbaston in Birmingham. India has dropped to the 4th spot with 52.08 points percentage in the World Test Championship Points Table 2022 due to the points penalty, while Pakistan now stands at the 3rd spot with 52.38 points percentage. Name the Union Minister who has been given the additional charge of the Ministry of Steel. The answer is Jodhi Raditya M. Sindhya. Union Minister Jodhi Raditya M. Sindhya assumed the additional charge of Steel Ministry. Sindhya is currently in charge of the Civil Aviation Ministry. He succeeds Ramchandra Prasad Singh who resigned from the post on Wednesday a day before the completion of his Rajya Sabha term. Who has taken additional charge of Ministry of Minority Affairs? The answer is Smriti Irani. Union Minister Smriti Irani took charge of the Ministry of Minority Affairs a day after Mukhtar Abbas Nakhbi resigned from the cabinet. Irani was assigned the charge of the Ministry of Minority Affairs in addition to her existing portfolio of Minister for Women and Child Development. Who has stepped down as the Prime Minister of UK? The answer is Boris Johnson. Boris Johnson has resigned as the leader of Britain's Conservative Party, paving the way for the selection of a UK new Prime Minister. He quit as British Prime Minister after he dramatically lost the support of his ministers and most conservative lawmakers. Where is the capital of UK? London. What is the currency of UK? Pound sterling. Name the music maestro who has nominated to Rajya Sabha. The answer is Ilai Raja. Music maestro Ilai Raja nominated to Rajya Sabha. Sender nominated four new members to Rajya Sabha who represent the various South Indian states including P.T. Usha, Ilai Raja, Virendra Hegade and K.V. Vijayendra Prasad. P.T. Usha is the only woman out of the four members nominated for Rajya Sabha. Who is expected to become India's new G20 Sherpa? The answer is Amitabh Kant. 
who is Amitabh Kant. He is the former Niti Aayog CEO. He will replace Union Minister Piyush Goyal as full-time share power ricket for India's presidency. Amitabh Kant was the Niti Aayog CEO for almost six years and completed his extended term last month. Then you have to check who is the current CEO of Niti Aayog. The current CEO of Niti Aayog is Parameshwaran Iyer. Note down this point. You have to connect these points and take a notes. It will help you to recollect the information during the exams. So let's talk about G20. India will hold the G20 presidency from 1st November 2022 to 30 November 2023. G20 or Group of 20 is a group of the world's major economics. The G20 represents all inhabited continents, 80% of world GDP, 75% of global trade and 60% of the world's population. There are 20 members in G20, 19 countries and European Union, who is the chairman of G20, Joko Widodo, he is the president of Indonesia. India's first autonomous navigation facility, Tihan, has been inaugurated in which institute? The answer is IIT Hyderabad. India's first autonomous navigation facility, Tihan, was inaugurated by Jitendra Singh, Union Minister of State for Science and Technology at the IIT Hyderabad campus. What is the abbreviation of Tihan? Technology Innovation Hub on Autonomous Navigation. What it do? The Tihan IIT Hyderabad testbed on autonomous navigations will allow us to test the next generation autonomous navigation technologies accurately and allow faster technology development and global market penetration. So who has inaugurated Tihan? Jitendra Singh he is the Minister of State for Science and Technology. What is the abbreviation of Tihan? Technology Innovation Hub on Autonomous Navigation. Tihan is located in which institute? IIT Hyderabad. Hyderabad is the capital of which state? Telangana. You have to remember these important points. Who has appointed as the 7th President of International Fund for Agriculture Development? IFAD. The answer is Alvaro Lario. The International Fund for Agriculture Development IFAD appointed its top finance executive Alvaro Lario to be its next president. Lario will take office on 1st October and will remain in office for a four-year term. Lario will replace Gilbert Hongbo. What is IFAD? IFAD is an international financial institution and a specialist agency of the United Nations that works to address poverty and hunger in rural areas of developing countries. It formed on 15 December 1977, where is the headquarters of IFAD, Rome, Italy. So who will be the next president of IFAD? Alvaro Lario, he will be the 7th president of IFAD. What is IFAD do? It works to address the poverty and hunger in rural areas of developing countries. It is a specialist agency of the United Nations. Where is the headquarters of IFAD? From Italy. Who is the Secretary General of UN? Antonio Guterres. Which country is hosting the G20 Foreign Ministers Meeting 2022? The answer is Indonesia. The G20 Foreign Ministers Meeting began in Bali, Indonesia on 8th July 2022. What is the importance of this meeting in this time? This is the first gathering of the top US and Russian envoys since the launch of Russia's military aggression in Ukraine on February 24, 2022. Let's talk about Indonesia. Where is the capital of Indonesia? Jakarta. Who is the president of Indonesia? Joko Widodo. He is also the chairman of G20. What is the currency of Indonesia? Indonesian Rupai. What is G20? G20 or the group of 20 is a group of world's major economies. 
the Gitone represents all inhabited continents, 80% of total world GDP, 75% of global trade, and 60% of the world's population. There are 20 members in G20, 19 countries, and European Union. Who is the chairman of G20? Joko Widodo, the president of Indonesia. Shinzo Abe assassinated during an election campaign. He was the former prime minister of which country? The answer is Japan. What happened to Shinzo Abe? Japan's former prime minister Shinzo Abe was shot while campaigning for parliamentary election in the Nara region. Police said a 41-year-old man suspected of carrying out the shooting had been arrested. Let's talk about Japan. This is the map of Japan. Where is the capital of Japan? Tokyo. Who is the Prime Minister of Japan? Fumio Kishida. What is the currency of Japan? Japanese Yen. Which state or union territory will host the 36 national games in September 2022? The answer is Gujarat. Gujarat will host the 36 national games. What is the importance of this question? This will be the first time the Gujarat state will host the prestigious game that scheduled to take place between September 27 and October 10, 2022. The 36 national games were to be organized in Goa in May 2020, but they were postponed indefinitely due to the spread of COVID-19. Let's talk about Gujarat. This is the map of Gujarat. Gujarat has the longest coastline in India. You have seen this in map. India's first port that was established in Gujarat's Lothal, a Harappan site. Gujarat is the only place in India where Asiatic lines are found. Which state is the largest producer of milk in India? Gujarat. You have known about Amul also. Kutch district of Gujarat is the largest district in India. Where is India's first marine national park is located? It is in Gujarat. And you have to remember the Sardar Sarovar Dam near which is the popular attraction of Statue of Unity is situated. Ambada, a town in Kutch district of Gujarat, has the world's first lake where a rare species of upside down jellyfish lives. Where is the capital of Gujarat? Gandhinagar, who is the Chief Minister of Gujarat? Bhupendra Bhai Patel, who is the Governor of Gujarat? Ajarya Devrath. You have to remember these points about Gujarat. Who has been invited to be the guest of honor at the Indian Film Festival Melbourne 2022? The answer is Kabil Dev. Former Indian skipper Kabil Dev will be seen as the guest of honor at the Indian Film Festival of Melbourne, which will be celebrated physically after a gap of two years. He will be attending the festival to celebrate Kabir Khan's direction of film 83, which traces the journey of Indian team led by Kabil Dev that won the 1983 World Cup. Who has become the first captain in history to win 13 successive T20 internationals? The answer is Rohit Sharma. Indian skipper Rohit Sharma has become the first captain in the history of cricket to win 13 successive T20 internationals. He achieved this feat after India beat England by 50 runs. Rohit Sharma also became the fastest Indian player to reach the landmark of 1000 T20 international runs as a captain. He has broken the record of Virat Kohli. Thanks for watching. Hope you liked the video and you have received some important points. If the video found helpful, Please subscribe to our channel. Also share the video with your friends. To get daily current affairs, please subscribe to our channel. See you tomorrow. Bye. Take care.